Working for Big is pretty hardcore. It is a constant intensity that leads to constant prosperity. Constant movement, it's never boring, and it's always challenging. That's kind of the thing I like about working for Vic is that it's challenging. If you come work here, you'll never be bored. You'll always have something to do. Like he is straightforward. He tells you what you need and you need to deliver. It's really an environment that motivates you to reach farther, go bigger, go higher, uh, or go home. He challenges me on things that I don't think I could do or that I don't think that can be done that I then discover I can do or that can be done. Every day is a, a new challenge. He's still growing, but he doesn't feel comfortable about it. He wants to do more and more and more. That's something that you can admire about somebody. I love how Vic has pushed me to be more, do more, know that I was capable of more any given day. Regardless of how much time goes by, that is always the case. He's one of those people that is truly never satisfied. And he also, it takes a while of knowing him to understand this, but he also genuinely enjoys work more than vacation. Most people work hard to get to vacation. Work is vacation for Vic. You constantly build on your abilities by, by being in that environment, and I really appreciate that. My favorite aspect of working for Vic is that I'm constantly learning how to do new things every single day. I have to figure out how to solve every problem he gives me. He trusts me to figure out how to solve these problems, and so I want to solve the problems. Vic has inspired me of working, hard work, but also smart work. You know, I have been since 16, 17 years old working, making good money or learning a lot. But he showed me like being smart with your time and with the product you do. People would say that Vic is one of the most driven and most uncompromising people. Uh, so what? So that, that's my point. What's happening at that point? What's happening there? Who has the highest level of intensity they've ever seen? And they would say that he's one of the most disciplined people they've ever met. I would say that my favorite thing about Vic is his determination, his vision, and I find that to be an inspiration. You know, what I've learned from Vic is that you don't have to be connected to people who don't believe in you or don't like you. If someone is gonna tell you that you can't do something, you can just lose them. You don't need to feel bad about it or hide it from them. He's the boss. You know, they see it as the boss. Even though they call, hey boss, no big or nothing, hey boss. And uh, they think he's pretty hardcore shit. They think that he won't come to work every day, that they can go to his door and knock. They know that he's there for each other employee that we have in the company. But in the same time, they know he likes the results. So they will not just be goofing around just for fun. They know they come here. They have a duty, but they also know if they need help, he's there for them. One great thing he told me a long time ago, actually when we were both going through a similar thing, was that for some decisions, you have to take your emotions out of it and you have to look at it with your mind, with your intellect, with your facts and with the data. That has served me well in, in several occasions. We're uh, heartless capitalists that want to make money and I, I love that. <laughs> Yeah, put that on fucking YouTube. I love it. <laughs> you'll get it fucking, it'll get, it'll get, uh, it'll get banned. You'll, you'll get fucking, hate we'll, speech. we'll get, yeah, yeah, fucking hate speech.